Welcome into Head Rich Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Taurus. We are looking into somebody in current times thoughts for you. Right now, when whoever you are thinking of is thinking about you, what is going through their mind? Okay, so let's get into this reading. We're going to ask your spirit guides to come, please, to help move the tarot cards and put them into the positions they need to be in and show me what I need to do. If I can speak, show me what I need to see with regards to this person. Let's get in here and have a look and see for you, Taurus. What is up with this person's energy? I am going to show you each one of these cards um, close up and explain what's going on. So we have a five of voices, which is swords, a knight of inspiration, which is knight of wands, the chariot card, hmm. the three of wands. The Eight of Voices, the Wheel of Fortune, interesting, the Five of Cups, and the Star card. So, yeah, I'm right. I was, I was hearing what Spirit Guide saying. And one of the things that this person thinks about with you, with regards to this connection or whatever it has been, even if you're connecting to this person, is that they feel as if, they cannot offer you what you want. They cannot offer you what you want. Okay. Because we've got an Ace of Pentacles coming up here. So the Ace of Pentacles is talking about everything else that I saw on the table. Okay. It's like the combination of all these cards just literally sums it up. You want to have a relationship. And they know this about you. That is permanent. That is long term. That is serious. That is going somewhere. And they feel like. That is the problem. They don't know if that is what they want, you see. So, first of all, when they think about you, they think about the conflict. They think about the conflict. The first thing that comes to their mind is conflict. Um, they think about the fights that you and them have had in the past. Um, I do feel like this is somebody that you're no longer connecting to. Um, I feel like they think about the fights. So, if you are connecting to this person, my goodness, um, there is conflict here, and let me tell you, when they think about you guys, the conflict pops up into their head first and foremost, okay, which is not such a good thing. Um, they look at the problems first, okay. Then they think about themselves, <laughs> second. First, they think about the problem when they think about you. Second, they think about themselves when they think about you. And they think that um, they don't really know what to do here, or they don't really know how to proceed with the Knight of Wands being here. Because Knight of Wands is a card of um, literally um, not really knowing how to get to where you want to be. So they're just kind of going in any direction with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands would be a wandering energy. An energy where um, literally a knight goes on a crusade. Okay, Doesn't really have a destination or a crusade to go on that is going out there to look for themselves and adventure and figure out life. So this person's energy is a lot similar to that. And it's almost as if um, they kind of can go in any direction at any given time because they don't really have a destination in mind. That being said, you do. And therein lies your problem. You do have a destination. You do have an idea of what you're looking for. But they don't. You see where we are going here. They don't know what they want. Okay. When they think of you, they can see you know exactly what you want. Chariot card, cancer coming into your reading. You know that you want to have a relationship that is moving forward and pretty quickly as well. So you want a connection that's going to, um, you don't want to wait for somebody for three years of your life, you know, while they're trying to figure themselves out here. Um, you want to be with somebody that is, um, that wants to move forward with you, that wants to go through thick and thin and handle all problems with you and still move forward with you and get to where? Get to the three of pentacles, which is you guys together in a long-term relationship, most probably getting married, okay? Signing on the dotted line in front of the justice of the peace or whatever, you know, the pastor or priest or whatever, depending on your culture and belief. And this is what you are looking for. This is what you want. 
and with this energy coming in yeah that is not maybe where their focus is or they don't know if they want this or what they want to be honest so i feel like this person kind of is just you know back and forth about what it is they want so they know you want this they know you're trying to move towards that and they are restricting that growth from happening one way or the other they either have done this or they are doing it to you because they don't want it to grow to get to this place they want to keep it here which is stuck it is not moving okay so that they can figure out what exactly it is that they want okay because they don't really um know what they want so they're not going to move in a direction where they end up feeling as if they're trapped themselves in a situation that they don't want to be in because of their behavior they are controlling the movement of life or your connection and um they're the one in power here or they have been the one or they feel as if they were the one in power because somebody is sitting on top of that wheel of fortune and there's other people at the bottom here they do feel as if it is them because they are the one who is restricting the growth both of these cards have got this black background there it's an indication that um the darkness is a lot hidden about this person that they're not telling you about you know and um, their true feelings what they're really feeling real deep inside <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me i'm coughing you know maybe that's a sign <coughs> that they're not really speaking to you honestly or they have not spoken to you honestly because if they were um open with you it's like me i was trying to speak and next thing i'm coughing you know throat chakra closed so they're not really talking the truth to you about what they really want um and when they think about you they know there is pain in you because of your dreams getting broken because of them because we got the star card rocking up here so this is their kind of energy where they know that you've got big dreams with regards to your guys connection or you had big dreams with regards to your guys connection and because of that they know they they cause pain inside of you and they know that it causes conflict five of cups five of swords <laughs> between the two of you um and i don't know you know I, they know these things they know that they hurt you by the behavior and they hurt you um because they cannot offer you the dream that you're looking for which is literally the three of pentacles above that card literally showing that you know i want to be with you i want to have a relationship with you i would love to connect with you this is what i'd like to have with you and they very much know that they are not able to offer this to you so that's what makes them um be in this energy with you at this moment in time if this is an ex person i feel like um it wouldn't be a good thing to get back to get together with them because if you had to get back together with this person they would literally hurt you again they would hurt you again because they they haven't figured themselves out yet anyway they don't even know what they want you know and if you are with this person i would say be very careful because um they can and they are liable to change anything at any given moment um they can change with the weather <laughs> literally if it's raining now it's going to be sunny tomorrow if it's windy today it's going to be baking tomorrow hot um or snowing or something you know um it's just um very unpredictable with this person because they've got this sometimes we don't like to see this card as tarot readers because it can be an indication of um somebody who is uh, a player and usually people who don't know what they want they kind of play the field all over the place so it can be somebody who is a player it can be somebody who is um just wandering through life and can cause problems in other people's world because they don't have a direction so how can they have any direction with you if they themselves are not in any direction going anywhere so where can where they're going no way <laughs> you see there won't be a fulfillment happening with this person so i feel be cautious with them be careful with them and that is their thoughts of you i hope that that helps you if it does help you please do hit the thumbs up button if you so wish to do so you can subscribe to the channel as well do not forget if you are already subscribed or you are going to subscribe thank you so much um do remember to turn on that notification bell so that you can um know when i release videos thank you for watching bye